The next article that I critically appraise was written by Beijers et al. It's also a systematic review, and the purpose of this systematic review is to investigate neuroprotective strategies to decrease neurotoxicity without compromising anti-tumor efficacy. They researched the words bortezomib, chemotherapy, cisplatin, neurotoxicity, oxaliplatin, and paclitaxel. Their inclusion criteria were randomized control trials in which patients received one of the chemotherapies listed in the keywords. The independent variable was again neuroprotective agent, calcium and magnesium, and the dependent variable was neurotoxicity. The measurements that they used were sensory neuropathy grade and total neuropathy score. The findings were that the randomized controlled trials did not demonstrate dem differences in tumor response rates in the calcium and magnesium infusion arms compared with the placebo. While there are data supporting a neuroprotective effect of calcium and magnesium infusion in oxaliplatin induced neur neuropathy. I use the JBI checklist as my critical appraisal tool. The strengths are that there's large sample sizes from 102 to 732 participants, and most of the, most of the studies included were double-blinded, randomized controlled trials. The limitations were that they had no significant differences in response rate between the two groups or had conflicting results. This study had very low risk and it's very feasible in practice. The level of evidence is one and has good quality, so I decided to include this study.